Retina is the part of the eye which is in the back like a film in the camera. If you think of the eye like a camera, the front there are some lenses and in the back is film part. The film part is called retina and the center of the retina is called macula. Retinal issues are common. Macular degeneration is the most common condition among senior citizens. About one in three will have macular degeneration. Many retinal diseases need to be treated in a timely manner. For example, if there is a retinal detachment and it's not treated, the vision would be lost. People who have retinal problem, they feel that everything is blurry. And it depends on which part of retina get affected. With macular disease, the central field of vision seems to be blurry. And with retinal detachment, it is like a curtain that comes from one side and it slowly expands. There are a number of retinal conditions that are treated with surgery. They include retinal detachment or when the macula, the center of the retina is wrinkled, it's called macular pucker. There are occasionally holes in the center of the vision called macular hole. And also patients with diabetes occasionally get bleeding in the eye or get retinal detachment that needs surgery. One of the common retinal procedures is retinal laser. Retinal laser is a very effective treatment for conditions such as diabetic retinopathy and also for retinal tears. Retinal surgery usually is done in an outpatient basis. So patients usually come, for example, in the morning, get the surgery done, and then leave the hospital by noon. One of the concerns about retinal procedure is pain. Fortunately, the level of pain is not significant. With some topical anesthetics, like such as eye drops, patients feel relatively comfortable a minute or two after the procedure. Yale Eye Center and Yale Medicine have been active in cutting-edge approach to retinal condition. Uh, we have participated in a large number of clinical trials that resulted in some of the new treatment for retinal diseases. I'm Ron Adelman, Director of Retina and Macula Center at Yale Medicine.